I'm the only Sir Cracker, and that was a quick update. Hey there, this is the only Sir Cracker, and I'm coming to you from the front hey! yard today. It's the only Sir Cracker. Guess what? I knew the camera was on the entire time, because I'm having fun with you. Friends, I'm the only Sir Cracker, and I'm coming to you from my back garden yet again today. So, uh, today I brought my, my tripod out here, which um, I'm going to be shooting a lot more of my videos with my tripod. Um, today is going to be a very special uh, video. Uh, I'm not going to really show you a whole lot about what's going on in the yard because there's really not a whole lot going on since my last video. But what I am going to do is set up my tripod. Hey there friends, it's me again. Hey, so uh, hope you can hear me. <clears throat> um, I kind of wanted to talk to you about uh, me, myself, and I. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to give you a little bit of who I am, um, so you got a little bit of a background. Um, I have uh, I've been a gardener now for well, and I, I wouldn't call myself necessarily a gardener anymore. I'm hoping to get back into that and and be a real gardener. Um, when I was a kid, my mom used to garden. We had a huge, huge garden. Um, I'd say it's probably it was probably about 24 to 30 feet long one way, and probably oh 12 feet the other way. And my mom used to grow everything from tomatoes, onions, uh, cabbage. Um, my gosh, beets. Um, y you name it. Um, she used to she used to grow everything. You can imagine everything. And um, my mom got sick um, and started to get to the point where she couldn't go out in her yard um, and bend over and be out there for a couple hours weeding and that kind of stuff. So I was probably about 9, 10, I think, um, somewhere along there when I started taking over her yard and doing the, the gardening. Um, and I was always in the garden with her. I've always been a big fan of the garden. And um, it's just what I've done um, as far as long as I can remember. And uh, probably about, I'd say about 13 years ago, um, I got sick with cancer and my whole life changed. Um, actually, a little bit before then, maybe even 14 years ago, my whole life changed. And um, gardening has still always been something I like to do and I, and I have a fascination about. And, joy, but time um, has been a problem, uh, and then not only that, but um, where we live, we have moved um, multiple times uh, since then, uh, lived in apartments for years, and then lived in a, a duplex uh, a few years back that I couldn't, um, I couldn't uh, do anything with. There's just no, no way to do anything. Um, and I've always had a few pots here and there and tried to grow things in containers on my patio or whatever, but that doesn't go over very well. Um, it's, it's hard to do. It, it's really hard to grow on a patio and a deck. And so those people who do it and they are able to do it successfully, I definitely take my hat off to you. Um, that is, that's hard work and dedication and I hope to God I never have to do that again because that's a lot of work so growing growing on a, on a patio or a garden is it's crazy um, I have of course the containers that I put out here on my in my barrels the three the three barrel size pots and then the eight smaller ones those are out here and of course I've got uh, all of my smaller ones and I still garden in containers. Um, I am not, I don't know, I, I like having the control. Um, a big part of the reason why I've used the, the 55 gallon containers is one of the, there's a couple of big reasons, but the biggest reason, uh, or one of the biggest reasons is weeding. You have this small space to weed um, and you don't have to really weed a whole lot because you can 
put down grass clippings and mulch and that kind of stuff to help keep the weeds down. Plus, it's all usually it's all potting mix. Now this year it hasn't been potting mix. Um, this year it's been uh, horse compost. But uh, for the most part, you know that that is what it is. So. Um, the other reason I do it in the barrels is because I have fibromyalgia, uh, fairly bad. Um, the leaning over or squatting to get to the ground um, doesn't work very well for me. Um, I mean, I, I do it, but it's it's kind of hard, uh, and it hurts really bad. Um, so. I, I like it being up higher where I can just kind of get to it. The barrels are great because I just kind of, I can reach into the back of the barrel. There was a video um, on the uh, YouTube that I saw and they basically cut here take a look at this they basically cut the uh, the barrels about here and then this top half they put slack you know cut slats in it um, trimmed the edge and then dropped it down into the bottom so of the barrel this part goes down to the bottom and then fills up with this much water gets filled up and then from here up which would be you know from there up so about 12 inches or so of dirt would be in there and that's what you're growing in and for like if, we, if I had to move um, I can drain the water off and make it a lot lighter the only problem is instead of being this height it's then going to be you know what, 18 12 to 18 inches 16 inches lower than where it's at now. I don't mind, but that's too low. Um, even just reaching to this point, if I had to do it repetitively with every single barrel I have, it's just, it's too low. Especially, well, for this application. Um, that and I use, I want to use these um, to line this whole part of my property to keep the dog on this side instead of going basically touch base and kind of let you know I've been a gardener for a, I've been gardening for a very long time um, just uh, I'm not necessarily a professional um, I don't know terminologies and words for certain things um, but when it comes to doing it I, I'm really good I just put my hands in it and for some reason almost everything I touch grows it is insane I, I don't understand it um, you know, I, I am a, definitely I have a green thumb. At least that's what my mom used to say. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, Rick Van Man. Uh, he uh, he's in England, and he has an allotment there. And uh, if you haven't seen his videos, I definitely recommend seeing his videos. Um, he's kind of my hero. <laughs> Uh, I like, I, I watch a lot of allotment videos because they have this dedicated space that they have to get in the car and they are on the bike and they have to get to and it, they take, I mean, they de have to dedicate a part of their day to going to the allotment and going through um, and uh, doing their stuff in the allotment. It's the end of April of 2014 and, and um, I don't know. We've had we've had pretty crummy weather this year. Although, from what it sounds like, most of the most of the country, or the most of the country, most of the world, for the last three to five years, has had pretty crummy weather. So I'm just kind of hoping that it perks up a little bit. Um, I've got some issues. I bought a, a real nice hundred uh, hundred foot hose last year. And my dog got a hold of it, and it was a pretty expensive hose, and destroyed it. So I've got to find and, and figure out a way to get water back here. Um, I started putting on my on tomatoes on, anyways, before I left uh, last last spring. I started a water irrigation system, but never got to be able to put it together. And 
So I've got to figure out. I've got to figure out a few things. Um, so today's one of those days where I've got to mow the lawn and rake up some leaves and pick up dog poop and yeah, it's just part of part of having responsibility in a back backyard. So, anyways, uh, I think I've rambled on enough. <laughs> it's a pretty long video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, to post those. Um, you know, and of course, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Those are always awesome. Um, any suggestions? I, I am definitely open for ideas and suggestions. I'm hoping to get more subscribers behind me, so then that way, uh, throughout the year, as I'm growing and I come across something new and different that I haven't. Uh, encountered before I'd like to, uh, to bounce ideas off of you and hopefully get some response back but I think for the most part uh, this year I, I kind of got all my staples that I normally do um, like my pumpkin uh, cucumbers um, strawberries strawberries are one of the, the newer ones I've tried it a few times but I've never been very successful I think a lot of that's just because they dry out I, I've uh, just I have a big issue with um, uh, having time to come in water. Um, so, but uh, and then like uh, like uh, corn salad. Yeah, it, it, I've done salads before, you know, salad mixes and, and leafy greens before. So they're pretty straightforward. And of course, um, tomatoes. I, you know, I grow tomatoes all the time. Um, I've never been successful growing tomatoes from seeds, so I'm kind of curious to see how these are going to turn out. Um, especially with the fact that I just, I don't know, I, it's a first. So, Okay, I better end this video, but before I do, I wanted to give you a real quick glance here at my, uh, uh, my lilac bushes, and so you can see how they're coming along. So, I'm the only Sir Cracker, and... I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.